I'm in the process of uh, taking some stitches that I've learned through the years with hand knitting, and I'm trying to convert them to the knitting loom. And some are practical to do and some are not. But what I'm going for on this pattern is this little twisted ladder that's in there. I believe they call this gate and ladder, but um, whatever, whatever you want to call it's fine. But uh, I had to go about it in a different way in order to get these ladders. Um, it was a little hard to figure out because with hand knitting needles, uh, it was pretty cut and dry. But on the loom, I had to do a little manipulation of the empty pegs. And you'll see what I'm talking about once we start the pattern. Okay, my yarn is over on the left. And I'm going to do the first row of the three-row three pattern repeat. And the first row is just to knit across. So I'm going to go ahead and use the U stitch or the U wrap where you're coming between the old and the new and then making like a U shape and just knitting over. It's a little bit tighter than the E wrap stitch but um, it's not too tight. The true knit stitch is a little bit slower but it's um, a lot looser but the e-wrap stitch is the most loose but we're going to do a u stitch and i'm not making the stitches too tight so i'm going to probably struggle a little bit because i'm trying to keep my loom from falling off of this slope that i have going here so i'll do the best i can i had to get an angle because i wanted you to see the front of the pegs and not just the top of the pegs so I'm just knitting across, and that's 21 stitches. All right, so okay, on row two, we're going to have a knit one, knit two together, knit three, and then the yarn overs. So I need to prepare for my yarn overs as I start knitting. So when I do this, knit two together I'm going to end up with an empty peg right here on the third peg but I need the empty peg to be over here on the number six peg so I'm going to work that out as I go and also when I'm looking ahead I have a double decrease here which is a knit three together and then I also need to start getting ready for these yarn overs I need at least or, or I'm going to use one empty peg to make these yarn overs so I'm going to be thinking ahead as I go so the number two and the number three rows are a little bit tricky, so that's the ones I want to concentrate on now. The first row was pretty easy because it was just knit. So, my instructions tell me to uh, knit the first peg, and since I my yarn is on the right-hand side, I'm going to be reading my pattern going toward the left. So I'm going to knit one and then knit two together. And I'm just going to be consistent with what I've already started. Actually, I think my I want my uh, stitches leaning the other way, but I already started the pattern this way, so I'm going to continue on. So I, I leave the outside peg with the stitch on the bottom. I could move this stitch over and leave this one on the bottom, and it'll make your stitches look a little bit different. But I'm, again, I'm going to start the way, continue the way I started. So I'm going to move the third one over to the second one, because these two are going to be knit together. And then I'm going to uh, bring my yarn to the front to make my U stitch, and then knit those two over. So that's my knit two together. So now I have an empty peg, but it's, again, it's in the wrong place. I need that empty peg over here. So as I knit the next three stitches, I'm going to move them toward the outside edge. So the, ne the instructions say knit three. So I'm going to knit one and move it over. And since I'm stretching these stitches across an empty space, I'm going to try to size them, not pull too tight, but try to make them all equal the same size. It's not always easy on a loom, so this is knit the second one and knit the third one. So that's three knit stitches. All right, 
So now I have an empty peg here on one, two, three, four, five, six. So I needed that empty peg to be on number six. So um, it says two yarn overs, but actually what I'm going to be doing is two E-wraps on the same peg. And what I'm doing is just reserving some yarn to make that ladder. So um, when you're going from right to left, you want to E-wrap counterclockwise. And when we're working in the other direction, you want to do just the opposite. So I wrapped counterclockwise twice bring the yard to the front and get ready to knit the next peg with a U-stitch. So after the two yarn overs I need to knit three. So I'm going to do one, two, sorry I keep checking my camera, three, and then I need to do that knit three together. So that's going to be these three pegs. So I like to move the outside ones toward the middle peg of the three. And then I'm going to knit three together by bringing my yarn past this empty peg and laying it in a U, a U formation uh, to get ready to knit. And I like to drop them over one by one. So here's my new yarn. So I'm going to knit them over all three of them. And then I'm going to try to size this stitch. And now we're, we're stretching across here. So I don't want that middle stitch to be too different than the others. Again, on loom knitting, you have very little control over that because of the spacing of the pegs. So now we're going to have an empty needle here. I'm going to leave it for now. We'll fill it up later. But I also have some yarn overs coming on over here in a minute. So I'm, all the, the next few stitches, I'm going to move them toward this middle peg right here. So after the knit three together, we knit th uh, three pegs. And I'm going to stretch behind this empty needle, make a knit stitch, that's one, and I'm going to move it in closer. And then size it up, knit the second one, move it, and then the third one, and then move it. So now we've prepared the way for the next yarn over. So we're going to do the same thing, two yarn overs around that same peg, and then get ready to knit the next three. So we'll go one, two, three. Now I'm going to do a mirror image of the knit two together. Uh, from the opposite side. So since I left my second to the last outside peg on the bottom, the knit stitch on the bottom, I'm going to move this one over to the top of that stitch. And my hand I know was in the way, but I moved the stitch from the third peg to the second peg. And now I'm going to knit those two together. Try my best to do this with my hands out of the way one, two over, and then we're going to knit the last peg. So I'm going to do all these repeats again in case my hand was in the way. And you'll get to see, since it's an odd number of rows, you're going to get to see um, how it looks coming from the other direction. Okay, row three. My yarn is on the left. So I'm going to be reading the pattern from here. Notice there's six knit stitches and then five on the other end. And there's eight in the middle between these two purl stitches. So the two stitches that are above the yarn overs, those are going to be treated in kind of a weird way. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five knit stitches plus the knit stitch that I have to do in combination with the purl. So I'll show you that. All right, so it says knit six. So I'm going to go ahead and knit one, two. 
And that's an empty peg, so I'm going to start moving everything and filling up these pegs. So that's three, and move that over. Four. Five. And then the sixth one is going to be taken care of along with that purl stitch. So to get ready for my sixth knit stitch, I'm going to go ahead and undo these yarn overs and lay this long loopy stitch or long loop over both of these pegs. So this is going to be the last knit stitch of the six. And then this one's going to be a purl. So it's going to be a little tricky because it's so loose, but I'm just going to hang on to that with my hook. I'm going to make my U wrap and drop that loop just over that one peg, leaving the rest of the loop in front of the second peg. I'm going to bring my yarn forward to get ready for the purl stitch. And again, it looks different coming from the other direction. So I'm going to reach under through that loopy thing, pull my purl stitch up, drop that old loop over and place my purl stitch on the peg. So after the purl stitch, I need to do eight knit stitches. So I'm going to do one, two, oops, that's an empty peg. So here's number five. I'm going to fill in the pegs as I go. Six. Seven. And number eight is going to be part of this little sequence here. So I'm going to again unwrap the wraps, put them across both pegs. And this is going to be again a knit stitch. So I'm going to hang on to this and just loop that over like that. Bring my purl forward and down and pull that up. And it makes a little twisty thing, a twisted ladder. So there's my purl stitch. And I should have peg, five pegs left, which I do. If I didn't, then I messed up somewhere. So that's five knit stitches. Two, three, four, Five. So row one, reading from the right hand side, is knit stitches all the way across. Because my th yarn is on the right hand side, so I'm just going to knit across. And you don't need to watch the whole row of this. Okay, I just finished row one and my yarn is now on the left, so I'm going to start row two. And reading from the left to the right, I'm going to do a knit stitch, a knit two together, three knit stitches, and the yarn overs. So, uh, and then this is going to be my knit three together and some more yarn overs. So as I go, I'm going to be getting ready for the yarn overs that are coming up. And so uh, I'll need one empty peg for those yarn overs. So we're going to end up with a few empty pegs on there, but we'll prepare as we go. And they're all going to be filled up on the third row. So I'm going to knit one and then knit two together. And so I'm just going to keep on the way I've been doing it. I'm going to put the third one over the top of the second one just so I can be consistent. You can do it the opposite if you want your stitches leaning in a different way. So I knit two together. You'll see that again on the other end in case I covered that up with my hand. So I have an empty peg here, but it's in the wrong place. I need to get ready for a yarn over on peg number six. So as I knit the next three stitches, I'm going to move them over to fill in this peg. So I had a knit 
and I knit two together and then now I'm going to knit three. Move that over. Size up that stitch to where it looks like the rest of them. So that's two, three, and now I have an empty peg where I want it. So I'm going to do two yarn overs, which we're going to be doing e wraps. So if you're going from left to right, you need to wrap clockwise, I think. Let's see. And with so one. I'm sorry. One, two. What I don't want is you'll know you've done it wrong. So if I go counterclockwise, I'm going to end up with this bar going across the front, and I don't want that. So that, that kind of tells me that I was doing it wrong. So I'm kind of glad I made that mistake. So I'm going to go one, two, back to the back, and then up to the front. So I'm not going to end up with that crazy bar going across both of those. It should look like this. All right. So after the two wraps on this peg, we're going to do three knit stitches. So this is one, two, three, and then we're going to do the double decrease, which is knit three together. And so I'm going to take these three pegs here and I'm going to move the two outer stitches to the middle. I know my hand's in the way, but I can't do this without my hand in the way. So I move this stitch over to the middle and this stitch over to the middle, and then I'm going to knit those three together by wrapping my U stitch, and I like to drop them over one by one. So that's two and then three. So all three of those stitches are now one and we have two empty pegs here. I'm going to leave this one empty because I don't want to stretch this stitch out of shape. But again, I have a yarn over coming up over here so I need to start moving the next stitches over. So there's going to be three knit stitches after that double decrease. One, move it over. Two, Trying to keep my hand out of the way. Move it over. Three. And move it over. So now we need to do a, another yarn over. Oops. Sorry about that. All right, so I did three knit stitches. I need to do those E-wraps again. Let me see if I can remember which way I'm supposed to be going. Clockwise, bring that to the front, and get ready for the next stitch. I need to do three knit stitches after my two wraps here. So one, two, three. And then we have a knit two together. So I'm going to move the third one from the outside over to the second one just because I want to be consistent. And then knit those two together and then knit the last peg. So we're going to have a few empty pegs in here and that's okay. Okay, now my yarn is on the right so I'm going to be working the third row this time from right to left. It's going to be different every three rows. Sometimes it's going to be on the left and sometimes it's going to be on the right. So working the third row from the right, I need five knit stitches. Remember, it's different from the other side of the chart. So two, and then I've got an empty peg here I need to fill up. So that's three. Move it over. Four. Move it over. Five move it over. All right, and then I need a purl stitch because I'm coming from the right hand side. I'm going to undo this wrap here and place it over both pegs. To work the purl stitch, I'm going to bring 
my yarn to the front between the last stitch I just did and this new area here. So let me hold the yarn like I like to do it, bringing it down, reaching from the top to the bottom to pull that purl stitch up. And I only want to drop that big loop over that one peg and then place my purl stitch on the peg. So I still have that big loop in play here, but the next stitch is a knit stitch and I need eight of them. So this is going to be the first. So I'm going to just hold that big loop down while I make my U stitch and then drop that big loop over. So I've got this little twisty thing going on here. So that's one knit stitch, two, three, four, five. I've got an empty peg here I need to fill up. Six, move that over. Seven, move it over. And then eight. move it over and then I need to unwrap those e-wraps place that over the two pegs and do that purl again bring my yarn between the two pegs reach down and grab a loop pull it up drop that loopy thing over leaving a loopy thing on the next peg and then I need to knit six. So I'm gonna kind of hold on to this because it looks like I've already knit that peg, but I haven't. So I'm just gonna hold on to that, do my U stitch. One, two, oops, I lost my stitch. Three, four, five, six. So that is the three rows going in that direction. I'm going to knit two or three more knit rows just to even out the edge, and then I'm going to bind it off and take it off of the loom. When you take this off the loom, just go ahead and stretch it, just to kind of even out the stitches, pull it in all directions diagonally, and then you'll want to go and block this to where everything looks really nice.